0406 champion Buakau. It's a tight fight. Attack on the 171cm, 70cm, 100kg. K1 World Match 2005, 2007, the world champion, Andy Sauer! Andy Sauer, arguably the most successful kick fighter of all time. He's won more world titles than just about any other fighter on the planet. Two-time match champion, 05, 07, three S-Cup victories, 02, 04, 08, seven different shoot boxing and Muay Thai super welterweight world titles, including the ISKA, WKA and WMTA world straps. They are heads ahead again, as they have been twice before. Arch enemies inside the ring, both gentlemen outside the ring. Buakau, Paul Bromick and Andy Sauer. Three by three, one extra round in case of a draw. Two knockdowns in one round, as we saw in that previous fight between Petrosian and Yamamoto, and it's all over. Final blessing in the corner, the traditional removal of the Moncon. You'll see the Thai trainer say a prayer. He may blow on the top of the head a little breath of Buakau, which is tradition, and then he'll remove the Moncon, and he should hang that Moncon from the corner post. There's a little blow on the hair. Final word to Buakau takes off the Moncon, and yes, he hangs it on the post. So adhering to strict Muay Thai tradition in Buakau's corner. Meanwhile, a little bit of tape being applied around the uh, gloves. Some final fixing of the gloves over in the corner of Andy Sauer with Andre Menard, a former legendary fighter himself, was a great cruiserweight, former world's cruiserweight champion who actually once ventured in New Zealand and fought brother Sugar Ray Sifo in New Zealand, I remember, back in the early 1990s, Andre Manart out of the Majiro Gym, a man who has trained many a K1 champion, both at middleweight and heavyweight, including stints with Remy Benjaski, Peter Ertz, and Ernesto Hoost. They've got the towel covering Andy Sauer at the moment, also just fixing his groin guard momentarily. Hugs Andre Manart. What a crowd, have a look at it here almost sold out that's almost 20,000 people here at the yokohama arena this is why we could not go to the budokan where every k1 max final has taken place in previous years the budokan holds 16,000 tonight k1 has sold 20,000 mike it is an awesome atmosphere yeah which is a testament to the growth of k1 max here and it's phenomenal considering that uh, masato is not fighting on this event and we're still able to sell that many tickets here we go, first round of action. Yeah. Semi-final number two, the winner to face Georgia Petrosian, Michael Chavello, Mike Kogan with your inside. Don't forget, check out the official K1 website, k1official.com, and the great YouTube action as well at youtube.com slash K1. Poor Gow wants to be using that teep kick, front kick, off the lead leg, and digging the balls of the feet into the midsection, a very painful technique. And he does it there. Andy Sal just scoops it out of the way. sal has got those beautiful leg kicks, but in particular, his handiwork is just sublime. If he can get on the inside and start banging away to the body of Buakau, then try to hook up to Buakau's questionable jaw. Nice stiff jab from Andy. There's Masato commentating ringside for the Japanese television broadcast. He'll have his retirement fight at Dynamite on New Year's Eve against the winner of tonight's max tournament. Good stiff jab again from Andy Sauer. Traditionally, Muay Thai fighters do start slowly. Buakau, no exception. He's been caught cold on a number of occasions, none more so than Andre Dida earlier this year. By this time already, Dida had almost knocked out Buakau. Which yeah, I'm surprised here, Mike, that Andy Sauer hasn't thrown down a lot harder early on. And Buakau just takes him down with the first Muay Thai dump of the contest. I, know, I mean, the Dida fight was, was a shocker. And if Dida had any more, uh, uh, anything left in his tank after that, Coming into the second round, he could have knocked him out again. The size of the calves on Buakau. They're not calves, they're cows. Just huge. And once he starts to work those kicks to the midsection, Andy Sauer could be in trouble. A few knees there from Buakau, showing the Muay Thai technique early. Jab from the tie. 
Overhand right from Sauer. Buakau locks up the clinch, wants to wrench that neck and look for another Muay Thai takedown. Won't score for him under K1 rules, but effectively it will sap the energy and also sap Sauer mentally. And every time Andy's going to pick himself up on the canvas. And it seems to be aggravating Sauer because every time Ooh, every time he does the, uh, you know, the, the head dump, he, Sauer tries to take him down with him. There's the deep kick again to the midsection. Just leans back out of the way of the right hand. It's a very textbook Muay Thai technique to lean back when the opponent punches and then counter with a high rear leg round kick. We may see it here from Buakau tonight. So far, Buakau is fighting a very, very smart fight. He's using that tip kick to keep to keep Sauer away. He's, he's breaking his momentum with the, with the Muay Thai dumps. He's avoiding some of the hard punches. There's a tip kick again from Buakau. As I said, it was his number one weapon when he won the WMC Super Middleweight World Title. Or the Junior Middleweight World Title, I should say, in Montego Bay on June 20. A beautiful balmy night by the Caribbean, it was indeed. Into the first round, we go to the towels. I really can't separate them after one stanza, Mike. I wouldn't dare render a decision in the first round, but if I absolutely had to, I'd, I'd have to give a slight edge to Bokao. I think, he, I think he won that round, which is a little surprising considering his style and just Muay Thai fighter style in general. Of course, one of these two men will face Petrosian in the final, then the winner of the final will face that man at Dynamite on New Year's Eve, Masator. One of my favorite ever fighters, brilliant fighter, Masator. Okay, the open scoring system is in effect, of course, and all three judges are given a 10 all after the first round. So they are not calling it. Too hard to call, say the judges. Of course, Petrosian has fought Andy Sauer before. He met Andy Sauer in Milan earlier this year, grinded out a decision over Andy Sauer. The only draw of Petrosian's career has been against Buakau. We are ready to rock and roll, second round. Sauer needs to up the intensity here because Buakau is one of those fighters, like all Thai fighters, that relies on rhythm. And the way to beat a Muay Thai fighter is you've got to break the rhythm. Once they find that rhythm, then they are very hard to stop. Buakau is no exception. Which is actually what I said in our opening statement. I said, you know, I, I think uh, Andy Sauer's biggest strength is his aggression and his, you know, not waiting around style, which he's not able to do here, as Buakau is doing a, a really good job offsetting that rhythm. Buakau just faking with the front kick, slams away the round kick to the liver section. Sal with a front kick of his own, beautiful catch and sweep. You gotta wonder what Masato is saying on the commentary. You gotta wonder what's going through the K1 Max champion's mind as to who he wants to fight at Dynamite. Of course, he put out the press release saying he'll fight the champion, so he's really got no say in it. At the moment, there's three men remaining in that mix. Sal, Buakau or Giorgio Petrosian. Bukau is really getting under sour skin with those with those Muay Thai glitches and the dumps, I'm telling you. It's psychologically working. Nice jab from Buakau. See that he faked the front kick off the lead legs and he jabbed. Nice knee to the midsection, almost folded him in half. He wrenches that neck again, looking for the takedown. Little knee to the upper left rib cage. Buakau, the controller here in the second round, Mikey. He's fighting a perfect fight yeah. right now. If he can keep this up, I think he's gonna win the he's gonna win a decision. This is more of the Buakau we have come to love over the years. And the best part is we're halfway through the second round and he has not taken considerable punishment from Andy Sauer. Sauer yet to throw down, not because he hasn't wanted to, but as Mike pointed out, every time he comes in, he walks into that beautiful front kick. There it is again. If he does get on the inside, Buakau knees him and then dumps him. It's just continual frustration here for Andy Sauer. Because this is Buakau on his game. This is Buakau seemingly back to his technical best. Yep, and he's as relaxed as possible. I mean, he's got that front kick time. I mean, he's got Andy time so far to near perfection. Clinch up against the ropes. It's Andy that gets a knee off. Buakau unfazed by it. He's going to drive for a dump here, Borgel. He's got one underhook on. Ooh, he gave a couple of elbows there almost to the lower left rib cage. Referee didn't see it on his blind side. We saw it though. Well, he was trying to break Andy's arm. I mean, yeah. not break his arm, but break his break guard. Break the hold, yeah. Oh, nice left hook from Borgel. And he gets on the inside. There he is. Takedown again. Follow through. Name Muay Thai style. 
Sauer just frustrated. The Dutchman comes forward, walks into that steep kick again. You see the little bit of aggro there before the bell from Sauer? That was just frustration, Mike. It was yeah. frustration. Well, it's frustration because he has no answer for Borkow at all. You know, as you pointed out, and I mean, I pointed, we, 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 you know, it's, it doesn't take rocket science to see it. He's got the tip kick timed, and when he does come in, he clinches, throws some knees, throws him. In, in there somewhere, he slips a hook and a punch. I mean, this is Borkow's fight. He's fighting a perfect fight, completely offsetting Andy Sauer, Andy Sauer has no answer for him. He, has no, he doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know if he can just come, he should go, he should stay. What, you know, what, what is it that he's going to do? Look at the beautiful front kick to the face there by Burgau, then he hooks him. You know, I think one of the things Andy should do, and I'm, not that I'm telling him what should he should do, but he should start attacking Burkow's legs. He should go a little bit more after the leg kicks. This I don't understand, Mike. Two judges gave it 10 all. The third judge gave that round 10-9 to Burkow. To me, that's just ridiculous. How could that not have been Bullock round? I have no idea. I mean, what did Andy Sauer do? Exactly. Absolutely what did he do? nothing. He caught him with one good liver shot, maybe a couple of good jabs, certainly not enough to win a round. Nothing. The whole round was fully, totally controlled by Bullock The pace, everything. Two judges have a 20 points apiece. The other judge has a 2019 to Bullock And Sauer opens up explosively. That's what he should have been doing in the first round, which is what I expected him to do. Bukow is one of the hardest training fighters in the world. There's that footage on YouTube on the K1 channel where you'll see Bukow perform about 40 round kicks to the tie pads, one after the other. It is just awesome to watch. The stamina and the power that Bukow possesses is unbelievable. And again, he looks to wrench the neck, talk the hips, pivot on his feet, and get the boy tied up. Andy needs to use more leg kicks. He's, he's coming in with his hands, and Bukow is timing him. He needs to start coming in. Low kick, come in. Low kick, come in with the hands. And Watch him. He's not using leg kicks at all, Andy Sauer. And he comes in, shrugs off Buakau, works some distance now. And you're right, Mike. Andy's relying too much on the hands here. There's a solid rib kick from Buakau. Andy checks the second one off the back leg. Buakau launches a high knee to the upper left rib cage. They tango against the ropes. Buakau turns him around. He looks to pull the head down into the meet and greet. Doesn't happen for him. Referee gives a slap and a tickle and breaks them up. Stiff jab from Andy to the sternum. Bukow fakes the jab. Sauer, double forearms guard against the round, kicks off the lead leg. That's probably the second kick in the whole round from, from Andy Sauer. Sauer, eight a jab coming in. And again, he's forced to lick the leather. Bukow wrenches him around. Just like a little tornado. Put him on the ground, high left round kick. Andy wore that one well. Front kick, digging into the belly button again. Bukow wrenches the neck, drills the knee into the sternum, looking for the big bok choy. This is just pristine Bukow. Andy faking with the right hand, double front kicks from Bukow. It's a jab. Catch and counter from Sauer. Bukow rattles into the rib cage. Clinches up. Sauer getting no knees off in the grapple though. No knees and only two leg kicks in the entire round. We're almost, we're almost into the last minute of the third round. Hook but you know Bullock what? Out. But you know what? If the judges gave him the second round as a draw, you know he's a lot more active in this round. He could win this fight. Oh uh, well, I just don't see it at the moment. And I know what you're saying, Mike. You and I both agree that Bulakow is well ahead in this one. Nice tip kick again to the midsection. Andy Sauer goes for the one-two. That being the jab cross. One, two, one is the jab, two the cross, three the hook, four the uppercut. In boxing, nice inside thigh kick from Bulakow, short range knee, upper left rib cage. It's more scoring stuff here from Bulakow. That's the simple mathematics of it. Look at that, he faked the first kick off the back leg. And his eyes starting to swallow. I think that's a headbutt. I think that's what he was complaining about. Okay, three rounds down. Now, I've got that as Bulakow's round again, Mike. If this fight is not over right now with Bulkow declared as the winner, then these judges need to get their eyeglasses checked. Now, you know who is smiling at the moment is Giorgio Petrosian watching on the closed circuit screens backstage because he did not raise a sweat in defeating Yuya Yamamoto, yet both of these men have taken some punishment, in particular Andy Sauer. Yeah, but you know what? There are six fights ahead of the final, and there's a, uh, uh, an intermission in between. So I think Bulkow is going to have plenty of time to recover because in reality 
I don't think he took that much punishment in this fight. That's why I don't understand why the score is so one side, you know, so so even. Um, I don't think he took much punishment in this fight. He pretty much dictated the first two rounds. There's the cut under the eye of Sauer. First judge goes a draw. Pathetic. Oh, come on. We're going an extra round. At the risk of sounding like John McEnroe, you cannot be serious. And I think even Masato looks like, well, hey, come on. Bullcow should have got that one. You know, Mike, we always call it as we see it, you and I, it's and that was ridiculous. just, that was, to me, that was two rounds bull cow, one round a draw. I don't see how Andy is even here for an extra round. I, I have I have no idea. This is just, this is just flat out ridiculous. The judges of cow. Andy Sauer, for us, has a second life now. Here we go. Extension Complete, round. Completely unearned. Now, we can only go one extra round. There cannot be two extra rounds. Okay. Let's score this one down with you, folks. Let's score this one down. That won't score under K1 rules. The Muay Thai's up. That will. Nice front kick. Connects the bull account. We're going to sit here, Mike. We're going to count down the techniques being thrown here. Three jabs unanswered. There's a nice rib kick from bull Cow. Scores for him. And he fakes with a cross. Bull Cow with the knee. So far, pretty even. Bull Cow glances towards his corner. Double jab, comes forward. Jab from Sauer. Catches up one of the forearms. Nice hook outside, Farky. That does score for Andy Sauer. And so too does the body shot. Good high check from Sauer, but he eats the front kick. Smack bang to the guts. Bulakau gonna try and dump him again here. No referee moves in, two minutes remaining. An even round still. Maybe Sauer with that hook leg kick landing the better exchange so far. Now, Buakiao can't afford to slow down here. Front kick from Andy again catches the round kick. <laughs> Going for the inside thigh. Oh, nice right hand from Buakiao. Tags him on the nose. Andy with a stiff jack. This is much better from Andy Sauer, Mike. Yes. I mean, now this round could be a draw, which is a problem because they need to make a decision. But this round is pretty tit for tat, pretty even back and forth. I would slightly have Andy Sauer ahead with one minute 15 remaining. Now buakiao has got to get some pepper. He's got to get some mustard. Takes another inside thigh kick. Goes to the rib cage on the right side of the carcass. And again does Buakiao. Switch hitting off the lead leg. Now goes off the back leg. Yeah, see, in this fashion, I think Andy's going to win. Because now they're fighting Andy Sauer's fight. Exactly. See, Bukow's being backed up here. Sauer, beautiful, dipping left hand to the liver. Puts the knee guard on, does Bukow. Andy Sauer winning this round still. Okay, now Petrosian is laughing. Double jab, right hand from Bukow, hooks him. Bukow's got to put Andy Sauer on the back foot because the judges are going to be very heavily influenced by the fact that Sauer is pressing the action, by the fact he's the more aggressive, and by the fact that he's putting Bukow consistently on the back pedal here in this extension round. Most definitely. I mean, this round so far is, is, uh, is all Andy Sauer. This would be tragic, folks. After the thievery we saw after the first three rounds, if Sauer takes it here after the extension round. Fakes the cross. Spinning back into the midsection. Sauer trying to steal it. Kleptomaniac and really impressed the judges. Mike, I hate to say it, but if you're going to go off that extension round, which is what the judges will now do, Sauer, they'll, they'll Sauer take out the first it. three rounds. It's just the last three minutes. Sauer's going to get it. Yes. And you know what? I don't think that's just because Bokal won the first. Hook there from Sauer. Jab from Buakau. Wow. Just atrocious judging after the first three rounds. And Andy Sauer, the Andy Sauer we expected from round one, took until the extension round to finally come out of his cave. Big cut under the right eye, too. This could be heartbreaking for Bulgau. This could be heartbreaking for me. I, I mean, you know, there's nothing more unjust than having to fight an extension round when you don't have to fight an extension round.
First judge goes 10-9 to Sauer Hiltuit. 10-9. Ooh, 10-9 Buakau. We've got a split. Come on, do the fair thing. Give it to Buakau. Yeah. We called it, Mike. We called it. Andy Sauer goes through. Buakau is disappointed. He should be disappointed. He was rocked. I'm disappointed. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Can we have to go into the extension round. Mikey, yes. can we go to the market quickly, buy a wet fish? Because I want to slap these three judges with a wet fish. Folks, the final.